Hello, I'm Japanese. I'm Japanese teacher. I teach Japanese to people from other countries. So, have you ever had Japanese eel? Japanese eel, yes. Especially in Japanese restaurant. If you have not, please come to Japan and try it. The taste of the eel in, J in Japanese restaurant in a foreign country should be completely different from the taste of eel in a Japanese eel restaurant. Yes, and I don't recommend eels from Japanese supermarkets. <laughs> eel from Japanese eel restaurants are delicious because uh, the eel themselves are fresh, very fresh. They are cooked in a special way and the eel are very tender. Yes, look at this. <laughs> eel is so delicious that, uh, that even some Japanese who don't know, uh, who don't like fish, like eels. Yeah. This sauce is also delicious, sweet, and spicy. A little bit spicy, yeah. There are many, uh, there are many Japanese people who love eel. What the surprise? Japan has eel day. Yes, eel day. Do you know that? It's about time. This year, 2023, Eel day is July 30th. Yes. <laughs> um, Japanese people often eat eel unagi. Eel is unagi on this day. Yes, I eat it too. Of course. So why do you think? Why do you think uh, we eat eel on this day? Hmm. Uh, because it is the tastiest, tastiest uh, day of the year? Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, it is not. In fact, eel, uh, eels are not tasty in summer. Why then? Mm. Because it is good for our healthy? No, health? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Actually, there is a deep meaning to this. Yes. <laughs> uh, eel, day, eel Day was actually created by someone about 216 years ago. And this culture of Eel Day continues to this day. Yes. Amazing, right? So, so why was Eel Day created? Yeah. Are uh, eel really uh, not tasty in summer? For those who don't like sweet sauces, there is an unknown sweet eel dish. Yes. What else do Japanese eat in July besides eel? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, these, uh, these are the four points I'm going to explain. Yep. If you listen to this, uh, you will be an uh, Eel master from today. Yes, eel master. <laughs> and then I will introduce you uh, to my online class. Yes, online lessons. Yes. Finally, today's X here. Today's X. What is it? Uh, in today's X, I will introduce something Japanese each time. Yeah, today's topic is my lunch. Yes, my lunch. I will show you my lunch. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, let's start with the first point. Okay. The first point is here. Uh, why was EU Day created? Yes. Oh. Hmm. Okay. In Japan, eel has been eel has been eaten for about five thousand years. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and it is said that it was about 400 years ago that the eating of eel became particularly, uh, particularly popular. Yes. 
at that time, eels, eels were wild caught eels、mm. taken from the river. Yes, it was not an expensive food that even ordinary people could eat. Yeah, so the common people eat、uh, often ate eels,、mm. and people know very well eels in the summer are not very tasty. Hmm, that's true. Yes, in those days, eels were wild caught. Yes, <laughs> wild caught eels. Eels are most delicious in fall and winter, not in summer. Yes, that is why the guests didn't、uh, didn't didn't go to the eel restaurant. Hmm. The restaurant owners were in, were in trouble. Oh my gosh! Ah,、uh, what should we do? Ah,、uh, we can't sell eels in the summer. So one of the owners asked a certain person for advice. He asked. Ah,、uh, he asked, "How do you think、uh, we can get guests in this hot July?" Look at this! Ah, the certain person said. Then, put up a notice in front of the restaurant, and write on it. On the midsummer day of the ox, let's eat eels and be healthy. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, yes, yes. Wait a minute. What is the Midsummer Day of the Ox? You ask. Yeah, I written here Midsummer Day of the Ox. What is it? Yes. No problem. This is the old way of saying the date in Japan. Yes. So it is usually at the end of July now. Day of the Ox. Ox is. Uh, is ushi in Japanese? Ox is ushi. Ox is ushi. Ushi actually. Yeah. Day of the ox is day of the ushi, right? <laughs> day of the ushi. So, eel in Japanese is unagi. Here,、yeah? eel is Japanese unagi, right? Ah,、uh, ushi. Unagi, ushi, unagi, ushi, unagi, u, u, right?、Uh, that is the same sound. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that person came up with a catchphrase. Catchphrase. Let's eat eel on Ox Day. Ah,、oh, Japanese people like that kind of twist. A far-fetched word. Yes. U stands for unagi eel.、Hmm. It is easy for everyone to remember and understand. Yes, the restaurant owner did, as he was told. Then,、uh, oh, to his surprise, many guests came. Yes, other eel restaurant owners saw this. Wow! Oh, what happened?、Yeah. And began to do the same. Yes. So,、uh, for about two hundred sixteen years since then,、uh, this culture has continued to this day. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? If you live in Japan today, look for an eel restaurant. <gasps> Where is your restaurant? Yeah, around you. So, <laughs> right now you will see this paper posted outside the restaurant. Yes, yes.、Um, this year, this year's eel day is July thirtieth. Yes. And uh, here, <laughs> here written. Yeah, in Japanese. So, 
Uh, the eel dish is uh, also available for takeaway. Look at this. Takeaway. Yep. Nice. And so now the person who came up with uh, with this phrase is uh, it's called hiraga gennai. Hiraga gennai. Yes. Uh, there are various theories. Uh, various theories as to whether it was really his idea or not. However, it is a well-known history among Japanese people. Yes, but very popular. So I have introduced it here. Yeah, this man, uh, this man uh, Hiraga Gennai was uh, was said to be a brilliant man. Brilliant. Yep. Uh, a scholar a painter and an innovator. Mm. Uh, he was a man who was in interested in many different fields and uh, feared, right? Feared. And always took, always took on new challenges. Uh, he had a very interesting life and I would like to introduce him in other video. Yes. Now, uh, back to the story. Why was Eel Day created? Yep, first one, right? The answer is, you know already, the answer is that wild cold eels were not tasty in summer. So guests didn't, didn't come. So Hiraga Gennai made a day, a day for eels and attracted guests. Yes. <laughs> So let's move on the second point. Uh, are, eel, are eels really not tasty in summer? I will give you this answer first. The answer is modern, modern summer eels are delicious. No problem. Yes. This is because they are mostly farmed. Yes, farmed. Hmm. Thank you, farmed. So, uh, they are not wild caught eels like in the past. Yes. Uh, nowadays, wild caught eels are rare and expensive. Really expensive. So many restaurants use farmed eels. Yes. Uh, farmed eel, farmed eels are bred to be especially tasty in the summer. Yeah, really. Yes, and uh, just in time for the mid midsummer day of the ox. Yeah, so don't worry. Yeah, uh, the eel you eat in eel restaurants today are delicious. No problem, because many of they are farmed. Yes, <laughs> you should eat them now, 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 today, yeah, or tomorrow, yeah, I will eat them too. Farmed eel, yes. So, uh, third point, let's go to the first, third point. This is for these who don't like sweet sauces, there are eel dishes that are not sweet. Yes, they are. Yeah, look at the picture. This is it. Ah, nice. This is so nice. Ah, I want to eat it. <laughs> this is called shirayaki. Shirayaki. Yeah, shirayaki. Yeah, Japanese pronunciation. Yeah, shirayaki. Uh, this is a lightly grilled eel without sweet sauce. Yes, it is also very taste. Oh, I like it. Or when you eat it, uh, you can eat it with wasabi, 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 yeah, wasabi and soy sauce, or with ginger and soy sauce. Yes, as you like. Yeah, uh, you can also eat it in eel restaurant. Yes, I I want to eat right now. Yeah. Oh. So uh, fourth, a uh, last point. Let's go. Uh, what else do the Japanese eat in July besides eel? Yes, 
Uh, there are many things. Of course, yeah. Since it's the day of the ox, it is food. Uh, it it is food with an u in it. U u u u u shi. That's why u u. I will introduce three of them. One of them. Okay. The first is this one. Mm, I like it. I like it. The first one is umeboshi. Umeboshi in Japanese. Yeah. Pickled uh, plums. Pickled plums. Yeah. You can take uh, citric acid from umeboshi. This umeboshi, uh, which is good for hot summer, right? Hot summers. So the second is you know that you know that Japanese food. Ooh 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 udon. Right. This is udon. Udon. Yeah. You know very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next, the third one is called uri, uri in Japanese. Huh? That sounds a little bit uh, something different, difficult. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uri is uri is a general term for the cucavitaci. Yeah, cucavitaci. Oh, huh. cucavitaci family. So it is. Uh, so, so it means, for example, cucumbers. Yes, 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 cucumbers. And this one, bitter melons. Goya in Japanese. Goya in Japanese. The next one, ah, watermelons. Watermelons. Yes, suika in Japanese. Suika. Hmm. I love it. Ah. It is said that these cucavitaci food should be eaten often in July. Yes. Ah, nice. I want to eat it. Mm. Uh, these are the four, four points. Four points I talked about above. Yep. Yeah? Uh, I hope everyone eats eel. Mm, please, eating eel will make you feel better. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, here is a little announcement about my online Japanese lessons. Yep, uh, I teach Japanese online with Zoom. Okay, yep, this is a group lesson. Group lesson, you can join and you can join as well. So there are two Zoom courses: conversation course and business Japanese courses. Uh, Japanese calls, yeah. The Japanese, no, no, no. Uh, conversation calls is recommended for those who are at uh, JLPT and three, two, and two level. Yes, three, two, two, right? Uh, you can practice speaking with honorifics. Yes, honorifics. Keigo in Japanese, yeah. And without honorifics, with your Japanese friends. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? The Japanese long, uh, business Japanese course is recommended for those at the JLPT and two, two, and one level. You can learn the Japanese language used in business. Business, right? So you will learn business honorifics, business emails, the Japanese way of thinking, in the workplace, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, you can learn a lot. Yeah, um, I only speak Japanese in my class. Yes, and there are people from many different countries in the class. Yes, so you will speak Japanese too. Yeah, you can make friends there. Friends, nice. Yeah, uh, let's practice a lot. And become good at Japanese. Yes, I will support you. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to study for the JLPT reading comprehension, reading, yeah, comprehension questions, here you go. Go with uh, this one. So, these are very popular video lessons that are not available on YouTube. There are lessons for the JLPT and a two and a one. Yes. Yes, yes. 
to register, please use the link below. You will find the link in the description and the comment section of the video. Of this video, yeah, I mean, and this video, yeah. There are many ways to pay, yeah. So, finally, finally, here is today's X. Let's go. Today's X is dun, my lunch, my lunch, yes, yes, yes. This is my lunch, yeah, that I made at home. I will introduce it to you, <laughs> a Japanese lunch. <sighs> is it an eel dish by any chance? Yeah? Do you think so? Yeah? It is it. Look at this. This is toast bread. Yes. <laughs> This is not eel, sorry. Yeah. And uh, these um maitake, maitake mushroom. This is maitake mushroom, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, Mush mushrooms, Japanese mushroom, maitake is maitake mushrooms and cocoa and tomatoes, tomatoes, uh shumai, dumplings, yeah. And yeah, this is today's topic. Umeboshi, umeboshi, yes, umeboshi. Uh, pickled, pickled uh, prams, pickled prams. I like it, I like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't Japanese food, sorry, yeah, but it was delicious, yeah. Thank you for the food, yes. So, <laughs> then I'm also on Twitter. Check it out the link in the description. Yeah, uh, so I hope you too you will be eating delicious eels in Japan in July. Yes, <laughs> just do it. Yeah, so see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.